how to fix uncaught syntax error, unexpected token error in JavaScript. The uncaught syntax error, unexpected token, is a common error that developers encounter when writing JavaScript. This error usually indicates a problem with the syntax of your code. Here's a guide to understanding and fixing this issue without diving into specific code examples. Understanding the error. One, what is a syntax error? Um, a syntax error occurs when the JavaScript engine encounters tokens or constructs that are not valid within the context of the language. The error suggests that the code has been parsed incorrectly and cannot be executed. Two, what does unexpected token mean? The term unexpected token refers to an unexpected symbol or keyword in your code. In this case, the unexpected token is a, which usually denotes the start of a block of code, such as in a function, conditional, or loop. Uh, three, common causes of the error. Misplaced braces. One of the most common causes is placing the in the wrong position or using it incorrectly within the code structure. Missing or extra characters. The error can also occur if there are missing or extra characters, such as parentheses, semicolons, or other punctuation marks that disrupt the normal flow of the code. Incorrect use of keywords. Keywords like if, for, while, function, etc. expect a certain structure to follow. If is used incorrectly, it can trigger this error. Have steps to fix the error. 1. Review the code structure. Carefully review the structure of your code. Ensure that every opening brace has a corresponding closing brace and that they are correctly positioned within functions, loops, or conditional statements. 2. Check for unfinished statements. Look for incomplete statements or expressions that may be leading to the unexpected. This could be a missing parenthesis, square bracket, or closing brace. Three, ensure proper use of keywords. Verify that you're using JavaScript keywords correctly. For example, after an if or for statement, ensure that the block of code inside ed is properly structured. Four, indentation and formatting. Uh, proper indentation and formatting can make it easier to, to spot syntax errors. Ensure that your code is neatly formatted with consistent indentation for blocks of code. 5. Use developer tools. Most modern web browsers have developer tools that can help pinpoint where the error is occurring. Use the console to identify the exact line and context where the error is thrown. 6. Consult documentation. Uh, if you're unsure about the correct syntax for a particular construct, consult the official JavaScript documentation or trusted online resources. This can help clarify how braces should be used in different contexts. 7. Peer review or rubber duck debugging. Sometimes a fresh set of eyes can help identify issues that you might have overlooked. Um, ask a colleague to review your code or explain your code out loud to a rubber duck, a debugging technique where explaining your code helps you find the error. Eight, test incrementally. If the code base is large, test smaller portions of the code to isolate the section causing the issue. By narrowing down the problem area, you can focus on fixing the syntax error more effectively. One, use a linter. Linters are tools that analyze your code for potential errors and enforce coding standards. A good linter can catch syntax errors before you even run your code. Up um, two, 